You know, we heard rumblings of this series that was going to be put together by Danny Thomas and Aaron Spelling and possibly Rod Serling. Everybody was quite excited. Uh, I was just a young kid at the time when the show was being proposed. But I thought the new people was going to be a great hit. Uh, because, you know, hitting a hip, hip audience, appealing to uh, uh, teenagers and people in their early 20s. But uh, it lasted for 17 episodes, should have been a lot better, but uh, didn't work it. Now, New People is a 1969 American TV series on ABC that focused on a group of young college students who were returning from a trip in Southeast Asia when their plane crashed on an island in the South Pacific Ocean. The program was an extremely rare example of regularly scheduled network series with 45 minute long episodes. It aired immediately after the music scene, another 45 minute <coughs> program uh, geared towards Directed by Corey Allen, Charles S. Dubbin, Harry Harvey Jr., George McCowan, and Nicholas Webster. It starred Tiffany Bowling, Zoe Hall, Jill Jarrett, David Moses, Dennis Oliveri, and Pete uh, Rateri. Theme music was Earl Hagen, sort of like a, a Planet of the Apes style. Uh, number of seasons one, 17 episodes. Again, Spelling and Thomas were executive producers with producer Harold uh, Gass. Now, Serling's plot was quite interesting. In the, in the first episode, we find out the crash killed several of the college students and all but one of the adults who was badly injured and later died. Planet of the Apes, Part 2. The surviving students were the only human life remaining on the island. The island was unusual in that it had been built up as a site for potential above-ground nuclear tests, which never took place, leaving all the buildings and probably supplies untouched and ready for use for the survivors. The trip to Southeast Asia was a goodwill tour arranged by the State Department, showcasing youth were like, but it went awry when one of the students disrupted it, feeling what they were doing was fake and a way to gloss over what was going on in the country and with relations to the Vietnam War. Now, the new people reflected the, the uh, youth-oriented counterculture of the 1960s. All people over 30 were now dead, and it was up to the young people to start a new society on the island. The pilot episode was written by Serling, but it was credited as, get this, John Phillips. Papa John. Now, the concept of having all the adults killed off, leaving the only the young people to survive, was not a new one, nor was this be his last appearance. This concept has always been already been used in William Golding's 54 novel and subsequent film, film Lord of the Flies, and in the October 27, 1966 episode of Star Trek called uh, Miri. Now, in 2004, ABC premiere premiered the hit series Lost, which also featured a group of plane crash survivors stranded on a strange island. Producer Damon Lindolf later joked that if you heard of the series, it would use the name New People for the band of the, uh, of the character Charlie Pace. In October 2005, NBC began broadcasting a Saturday morning series with a similar premise called Flight 29 Down. Uh, first episodes appeared September 22nd. Uh, the, the Came from the Sea, an original Italian novel based on the TV series, was published in 1969 by Temple Books, the young adult uh, paperback imprint of uh, Grosset and Dunlap. The author was uh, the prolific Italian specialist William Johnson, writing under the pseudonym Alex Steele. Now, uh, people uh, can find the show uh, in a reference on various YouTube and various sites. I don't know if it was ever considered for heavy syndication internationally because 6970 there was a lot going on after the Bobby Kennedy and Martin Luther King assassination. People were kind of, you know, uh, not really worried about uh, too much about episodic television. Really, people got uh, Wanda Laugh in the 1970s, All in the Family, Mary Tyler Moore, the great sitcoms followed uh, later on. Maybe that's why the new people never caught on. But anything that was uh, Twilight Zone uh, related, Aaron Spelling, Danny Thomas, Danny had a good eye for product. It's too bad the show wasn't given a better chance. But I do remember uh, the, uh, the preview trailers that were quite interesting. Like I said, a, a Planet of the Apes uh, motif. Uh, not the movies, but the TV series. And a lot of visuals used for the new people were kind of mimicked in the uh, some of the, uh, the Planet of the Apes series. You know, you could have great cinematography in a rotten series, but like I said, the big problem with this, you didn't have a Jeff Bridges, you didn't have a Kurt Russell, you didn't have a Tim Matheson, there was no heavy 
actors like the other shows had, even Mod Squad had, had name actors and, you know, police story and all that. So maybe with a different cast it would have done better, but I think that's one of the few shows aired spelling and never was a hit, uh, especially. But 45 minutes, pretty weird. Like, how, how do you sell that internationally? Because either you want 15 more minutes to make an hour or cut 12 minutes out to make a half an hour. So pretty weird. But like I said, the ABC was trying different things, the, the youth market. Thanks for listening. Bye.